morning everybody welcome back to the final video in my setups installments um, so this one is break bias um, if you haven't watched my other ones I'll put the links down below um, please go watch them they're very informative um, so what I what I, I initially said is you actually want to get a base setup for your car and then after that every race I change four things the rear wing the brake bias the diff and the anti-roll bars so I've done a video on the brake bias already, I'll put the links below. I've done a video on the roll bars, I'll put the links below. I think the rear wing everybody knows. I don't think that's, I think that's something self-explanatory. So what I'm going to do is, in this video, is we're going to do the brake bias. What we are at Sebring, it's what I think is probably the best example to use because you got the long straight into the fourth corner I don't have to drive halfway around the uh, the track just to do what I want to do. Um, it's a heavy braking zone, perfect for a brake bias test. Okay, so with regards to brake bias, uh, basically what happens is um, the lower your brake bias, the more it brakes on the front end. The shorter your braking distance becomes. The higher the brake bias, the more to the rear, the longer your uh, uh, braking becomes. So like, w w what I'm trying to say is that you actually want to move the brake bias forward. It's different for every track. It's different for corners as well actually, but you actually want one that works for the whole lap. Um, you want to move it as far forward as you can before the car becomes unstable. Okay, so wh when the car becomes unstable, you'll feel the rear wanting, it gets twitchy. It moves back and forth. Um, it's like it wants to spin, like the rear wants to overtake the sort of front of the car. Then you've gone a little bit too far. Then you actually want to go back and find a setting that 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 will not happen. So uh, basically, if your brake bias is, is too high, you might be braking at the 150 meter mark. Me with a lower uh, brake by setting, I might be braking at the 110 meter mark, which means you're decelerating while I'm still doing 250 kilometers an hour. That's basically what it does. So you might lose like one tenth, but if you think that there's eight, maybe 10, um, maybe 10 corners on a track, okay, not every corner is the same. You've got high speed corners, so you're probably losing about half a second a lap. And then how many laps are in a race? The longer the race, the further you're going to fall behind. That's basically the theory behind it. So anyway, okay. So for the brake bias, okay. Um, if you go into the vehicle setup, okay. It is set over here. It's this one here. Okay. So that'll be lower and that'll be higher. Okay. So this way, we'll put it more to the front of the car. This way, we'll put it more to the rear of the car. Okay, so let's just go see how it handles right now. Okay, let's just go. Um, I've been playing around with my graphics and stuff, so hopefully. So we are going to do our test into the fourth corner. Clear of the pits. So let's see. I just want to get through here. I don't know if that's going to... So these are the ultra settings. Why does it still look so cut? Jeez, this looks bad. What's happened to the graphics? They've done something again. Okay, so here we go. So let's just get our brake marker with the stock standard thing it's normally this black marker here that's my brake marker okay so let's go back return to pet vehicle setup okay suspension so we started braking I'm just going to show you, oh my word, okay, it goes all the way, okay, 
let's just do this. Okay, so let's show you what's going to happen now. Hammer down now. See you ready. That's brake bias. The rear wants to overtake the car. Okay, so that's too low. Okay, so we, we actually can't even make it to the fourth corner. Okay, so let's just let's just do this. Let's show you again at the corner we had. Okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any heavy braking until we get to our corner okay and that's exactly what I mean by when it goes a bit too far the rear starts to overtake the front then you know you've gone too far okay okay let's go Break. That's what happens if you've got too much brake bias. Okay, now let's just go back. I don't want to make this an extremely long video. I just want to show you what it does. Vehicle setup, uh, suspension. I'm not going to change it all. Let's just load it again. Where's my spa setup? Okay, load. Brake bias. Okay, so let's go the other way now. Let's just go full back. Okay, let's go. So, so when you feel like on corner entry, the, the rear wants to overtake the front. You've got too much brake bias on your car. So now this should make... I have to fix my bloody graphics. I'm sorry this is jerky, but I wanted to make this video. I don't know why the F about these graphics every time. Okay, let's go see what's going on here. Okay, let's go find our brake marker. See, I, I, I can't make the corner. So that's too much brake bias. So ideally, what you want to do is So this is normally my brake marker for this corner where I start braking. It's here. It's here. Okay, so uh, I just know that from like games. Uh, generally, it's a little bit after on the GT3, but this car needs a little bit more. So like what, when, when like I do my uh, setup, I know roughly where I have to brake. So I adjust the bias to accordingly, so it's roughly within range. Every car is different. Every car is going to handle different. Every car is going to seem different. But basically, you want to make it lower and do a lap. And if your rear is not stepping out on you, you make it lower. You do a lap. If the rear is not stepping out on you, you make it lower. And, to, and that should bring your brake point forward, 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 more towards the corner. So you can brake later. And at some point, you will get that a sensation that the rear is loose and that's when you know you've hit your limit okay so anyway guys that's basically brake bias that's what's going to be in the video and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it useful please consider liking and subscribing I really am trying my best um, please also um, tell your friends whatever. I hope it helps for you. Please come back watch my other videos. Thank you for watching. Have a super day